Fry Bread, a Native American family story, written by Kevin Millard and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Hi everyone, MC Baker here talking about art connections to this year's Red Clover books. The verse and illustrations of this award-winning picture book teach us many things as a diverse group of children help a grandmother make a family recipe to be enjoyed by many, where the process is as important as the product. Delve deeply into the extensive back matter that includes many ways to understand fry bread's significance, historical information, and contemporary feelings. And remember to peek under the dust jacket. The end papers include the names of several hundreds of recognized tribes and those still in the process of being recognized, which serves to reinforce the fact that Native Americans are alive and thriving. Just like there is no one type of person that represents all Native Americans, there is no one recipe that is accepted by all even within the author's own family. So Fry Bread is just a lovely book. Um, and the back matter has so many resources that you are not um, going to be disappointed um, with. It, it, for me, I would, um, in, the, in the, my classroom, I would actually make uh, the Fry Bread recipe that is in, in, in the book, it gives all the directions. And I think that the process and the, uh, the, the, the story combined with the food uh, will be so much more enriching um, than just reading the book alone. Um, I know that there's allergies and one of the things that uh, they reference in this book is all the different kinds of art that um, from handmade dolls to coil baskets, all the rich history of, uh, of the different Native American tribes. Um, one picture in the middle of the book um, shows um, them making, children and women making baskets. And, oh, and even the dolls, you can see over here. Um, but I find that for me in the art room, I do not like to copy uh, projects uh, it, it, and the basket weaving is honestly very, very difficult, but I like to adapt it in a way that children can find um, uh, some similarities with, with doing a project, but maybe not copying it exactly. So for me, I thought of a way to um, make a basket or something that you could do within a library or an art room. And I started to experiment with like small cups that you could cut um, and possibly weave in uh, strands of paper or, or ribbon. These small cups are way too um, flimsy and, and they don't hold together very well. So what I would suggest if you wanted to, you could use a larger, like a solo cup, either colored or clear, um, making, um, making um, cuts down to a certain point and using ribbon and paper to um, weave with the children in your areas. Um, so you could talk about the way weaving is uh, going over and under and around these um, pieces how, and, and how truly difficult it is to, um, to do. And you might even show some examples of, of uh, authentic baskets that were made. Uh, using a little bit of tape is always good with kids because they can um, keep those uh, threads organized. Um, and 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 again, I think I would, I think I would make the bread with the kids. Thanks for listening and integrating art into picture books. Remember, there's a lot more resources in our Red Clover handbook 
which can be found under the Vermont Department of Libraries website. Be well and make more art.